Yeah, all right. Thank you, Monica. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is that I changed my title, and that's because I did submit an extended abstract, which was much more generic. And then peer reviewers, thank you, peer reviewers, told me to actually narrow it down to something a little bit more specific. Having said that, it's still an experiment, uh, which I will report on. Uh, also, this is my first bioinformatics conference. I actually come from the field of astrophysics and computer science, astroinformatics, computational astrophysics. So thank you so much for having me. Um, uh, this is great. Uh, having said that, I do have a background, about 20 years of uh, uh, career uh, experience in open science, open research, open data. And I recently joined SAGE as VP uh, of technology. So I'm also a technologist. So what I'll report on is one uh, little experiment we're doing at SAGE. Uh, in case you're not familiar with SAGE, our, uh, the big pillars of our mission are uh, open science and radical collaboration. And uh, we're also interested in breaking down silos, which brings him back to the original uh, uh, um, sort of topic of presentation, uh, be, especially between science and technology, forging a path to optimal uh, human health. Uh, our biggest product, our flagship product is called Synapse. You can find it at synapse.org. We run almost three petabytes uh, of data and we do three things. Uh, we work with data contributors to allow data ingress, curation, uh, validation and what I'll talk about today is also like automatic enrichment uh, of data and um, from research literature. We also of course work with uh, data users and to uh, enable that we run uh, data portals as well as challenges, Kaggle style challenges to activate and make data more useful. And then of course the most fundamental thing we do is governance uh, which is provide access to sensitive information through a, a, a normative governance layer. Um, some of our projects and collaborations show the kind of like breadth of um, um, programs that we run and disease areas that we cover. So probably you're familiar with some of these logos. I'm not going to go uh, in any detail through uh, any of that. But what I'll focus on is one data portal that we run for uh, neurofibromatosis. Um, and as part of that portal, we um, give access and work with contributors. Um, for, um, and we have 248 studies on it. You can find it on nf.synapse.org. And one of the things we do is that we have among our tools, a, uh, a research tools central, a database of tools. Now, as part of that, um, I believe that reusable research tools, model organisms, cell lines, antibodies are essential, but reliable research is hard to do uh, if they're not made available. So what we try and do is try to collect valuable observations about tool performance. We believe that these observations are made, they exist, and sometimes they can even be found in publications. So we are, uh, these are some of the observations we're after. Some of them are temporal, natural history observations. Some of them are actual tool observations. Uh, we did a, a quick survey of the literature, working with around like 450 uh, open access publications in uh, NF, neurofibromatosis, and to find um, that perhaps we could use uh, prompt engineering to just try and survey the literature to see if we can find some of these observations in the literature. Now, I know I'm on an open science conference and I'm showcasing ChatGPT, an example of a closed source uh, tool, but I'm a big fan of experiments and fast prototyping. So we did use ChatGPT for this just to try it out. And this is an example of a prompt we used. And as you can see, we're looking after a specific kind of text, uh, type of observation, phase, time, and time units. And by using a prompt like that, we actually did find very interesting results. You can see like a snippet of the paper we were going after. I'm almost done and um, some of the uh, structure JSON that we were uh, searching uh, for uh, in the results from the prompts. So we ended up actually finding quite a few uh, of these observations from 450 uh, different papers. And what we're doing is that we're enriching the data that we're hosting on the NF data portal. And of course, we do mention that it's AI extracted. There might be um, there might be errors, but it's interesting to actually be able to match this and map it onto a temporal scale. Uh, so next, we're actually now trying to open this up, and we just opened up a GitHub 
repo a couple of days ago to enable a, uh, a more open uh, workflow that would potentially enable uh, more work to be extended and open it up to uh, other communities. And with that, thank you so much.